snow drifts. I'm going to put all the dark colors aside, make sure I have the right, the right sponge. I have some other post-it notes that I've gone ahead and trimmed. Just kind of, and I'll do one of them for you, just so you can see. But it's really just making a snow drift. It's really easy. Just like this. Nothing too crazy. You don't want to get too strong of a curve. Um, I find that it doesn't really look so, it doesn't look natural. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, right here, you can see that I have a natural curve here. Um, I'm going to want to kind of go away from that. So I'm not going to want one that's kind of sloping that way. I want a curve that's maybe a little higher on this side and we'll give it kind of a down slope like this. And we're going to come back and take care of these little little ridges too. Okay, so I'm going to get this, my bashful blue all inked up. Now this is one of the old pads. The new ones you don't need to press in so hard. Don't have them all yet. I'm sure you all do. And we're just going to slightly hit this edge. You don't want to go too strong. Just nice and light, just to create a little tiny bit. And you can even pull it away just to see. Wow, that's pretty cool, huh? And I'm just going to take one of my other, one of my other ones, and I want to create a contrast here. So where I have a dip there, I'm going to have this ridge go up here. I do the same. I'm not even going to re-ink this sponge. I just want to create just a little tiny bit of snow. Not a, not a really strong, not a really strong line. Just a little tiny bit to create like a drift. And I think that I want something that's a little bit not quite so. This is why you want to have quite several of these here. I've got one that is kind of like a down slope. This is perfect. So it'll meet right here, meet this other one right here. So we'll just kind of join those. And then we'll just add a little bit there. Whoops. That's why you don't want to go too fast. Nothing is permanently adhered down. There we go. Kind of creating that beautiful, beautiful shading. And then I think for the bottom, I just want a little tiny bit here and maybe a little something there. I think that I want to try, let's see here, maybe a little bit more of a ridge. Let's try this. that, and then I'm just going to add a little bump. Here we go. Perfect. We'll just add a little tiny bump. And you can see that I'm not going to the edge. I'm literally just on the bump to create that little bit of ridge there. And there you go. You can see that where we embossed, by slightly moving that stamp off, that creates that shadow. And uh, it almost is like we have just snow. And the reason that you see that is because we did that before we inked up. I'm going to show you another one, which I did the reverse. I, I actually um, did all the sponging, and then I went ahead and stamped this afterward because I wanted these to be blue. And I couldn't really get that set because if, if I work on this before um, I go ahead and get it heat set, then it's going to kind of smear a little bit. So um, that's why I did this afterwards, and you can see that it's shiny. I hope you can see that. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it's clear, but not quite white like this one. And I think I like the white better. I did want to show you how I do these little tiny feet. What I did was I stamped the same thing like before. I stamped the image and I just cut out these two, these little parts that I wanted. And this is really easy to just line up 
these images right here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of snow to right here. Nothing too crazy. And that's going to fill this in. Give me a little bit more dimension here. Like that. And you could even probably pinpoint exactly where you want a little bit. And there's your finished product. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and just um, adhere it to... Now, it's gotten quite warped because of the embossing. So we're going to go ahead and just put that down on our project here, on our Midnight Muse cardstock that I went ahead and just did an, a saying from Sweet Essentials, which is really my go-to stamp set. I absolutely love this set. You have to have this set. It's so versatile. Um, this, the size of the actual sayings is what makes it so great. I find that I can use it in so many different ways. You'll definitely see that on my blog. So here's your final image. And uh, here's another sample. And this one has a little bit more of the Midnight Muse in there. And that gives it a little bit more of a kind of a turquoise-ish hue. Um, this was uh, one of my first samples. You could see that I didn't get the... Uh, the image directly um, lined up, which is actually okay because I happen to do this one with white embossing powder rather than the clear, so it kind of is like a little bit of snow is being blown. Um, and I did a smaller moon too, so I hope you had fun. Um, I look forward to seeing your projects. Uh, so have a great day. Stop by again soon. Bye.